Welcome to the Instant Karma Lounge here at the cabin at the Sundance Film Festival. I'm here with filmmaker Matt Wolf, and his film is Spaceship Earth. And it's about the biosphere, too. And I remember in the 90s, that was such a big deal, you know, putting these people inside a biosphere for a certain amount of time. But it imploded so quickly, and there was all this controversy around it. The data was missing. It was manipulated. I think it was a Texas oil tycoon put it all together. And I guess this was all fascinating to you to make a documentary about the journey. Yeah, I mean, I was nine years old when Biosphere 2's mission happened, so I had no recollection of it whatsoever. And I came across these fantastical photographs of eight people in red jumpsuits in front of a huge glass pyramid, and I, I thought it was images from a science fiction film. <laughs> but when I realized, was, yeah. yeah, when I realized that this was real and that the people who participated in this experiment are around, I was really determined to tell their story. But it didn't take me long to realize that this is a bigger story beyond. Biosphere 2 is about a group of people who literally reimagine the world. And with all of that in mind, what was your approach in making your documentary? What was what, what, what approach did you have about the people, about the corruption, or how it didn't work? What, what was your angle? What did you choose? Well, the, the kind of dominant narrative about Biosphere 2 is that it was a spectacular failure, and I felt that that was not right. I wanted to go deeper and and to look at the backstory of the project, the unique group of people who both conceived of the idea and participated in the project, and to really see why what they did has a kind of increased urgency today. Well, th there was good intentions behind it. Oh, and, yeah. And But the overall concept was, could man survive? Is that What, what was the point of Biosphere 2? Well, the point was to see, can we build a closed system, an ecological closed system that can support human life? And at the time, uh, this group was very aware of climate change, and they were thinking about the possibility of Mars colonization. So they wanted to see if this closed system could work in space, but a big part of the project was understanding how to live sustainably on Earth, which they called Biosphere 1. And your approach was finding these Biosphere members? Were they eager to talk talk to you or how did S some were some yeah. were ready to tell their story again mm -hmm. 30 years later but um i make films with a lot of archival footage and when i oh, okay. encountered the group who came up with the idea for biosphere 2 they had this enormous archive of hundreds of 60 millimeter films and great cooperation tapes then? yeah and yeah. and when i learned about that archive i i realized like we have an incredible opportunity to bring this story to life in the present any trouble calling it Spaceship Earth? Because that's the big ride at Disney World, isn't it? It's two Center? things. It's two things. <laughs> it's both Buckminster Fuller's book that was his idea of geodesic domes, this kind of 60s counterculture model of sustainability, but it was also the ride at Epcot. So there's this tension between um, the futurism of the 60s and then the, the kind of futurism of Walt Disney, and I thought that was kind of emblematic of, of Biosphere 2. It was... It was countercultural, it was scientific, but it also was theatrical. It's called Spaceship Earth. This is Matt Wolf here at Sundance Film Festival. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Good luck me. with the competition. Thank you.